hey guys welcome to truckertrack.com big day um i've got the sniffles today so steve is going to do a little talking about a case 850 and he's going to short length this bad boy and he's going to go over some stuff to look at it's his first time so give him a round of applause and uh here you go steve <laughs> it's all you all right all right well, it's my first time, even though this is my 29th year. So anyways, we'll, we'll, we're gonna have a good time here. Uh, first of all, what we're looking for on this machine, uh, the customer doesn't wanna spend the money on change yet. He wants to try to short link uh, the track. We don't recommend short links. That is a, um, uh, the book says that when you do that, you're, you got war pins and bushings. Uh, you got a chance for a breakage on the pins. So, uh, but, uh, you can do it. You can save yourself a little bit of money to get by to the undercarriage. Say you're going to run it out or whatever. All right, Mike, I don't know if you need to get the gloves. Money, you know, we don't want to get stone burning on the side. When you do this, you don't want to. You want to warm them up to their red, but you don't want to. You don't want to distort the head. Grab that camera and kind of show them what I'm doing. You want, to, you want to heat them up where they're real cherry red, but you do not want to melt them or distort the head because you don't want to be able to, you want to, be able to get a on them. And what we're going to do is we're just going to heat them up, get them real cherry red, and that heat goes through the whole boat. And when we take them out here in just a second, it's going to be a lot easier. If you need to buy a new boat, that's when you do this. Surely that'll do it. Whoops, wrong way. <laughs> We're amateurs of this camera, all right? Try it top left when I did it first. All right. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we had to get an air gun. For some reason electric gun, or uh, battery power didn't do that good. Okay, might be hot. Remember, this chain has got, uh, it's probably got 500, 3,000 hours on it. You don't know that these bolts aren't the first time they've been out of it. You know, since that time. But, uh, anyway, then when we go back in with it, we're going to wind up putting uh, uh, putting a uh, new bolts in it, and a season, all that. But uh, no one more thing we quick, we quickly, ah, I can't even talk. Quickly look at is this split jaw is the old ITM style. You see how it looks like it's got the check mark uh, hook on it. Uh, they used to make all the cases tracks for the longest time. And uh, anyways, ITM is, uh, they still can get it, but it's not as popular as it used to be. And uh, uh, we got other chains in our opinion that'll last it longer, especially the ITR chains. I'm gonna set the camera down and we'll uh, just pull this sucker off here and uh see what we can do and i'm i'm, I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of funny little things because i don't know how to do videos so i'm just filling in for the sick the sickling guy you know <laughs> all right let's get a chain and uh i might try to drag it off. we'll get this chain off here and then we'll be uh Taking it over the track press, which you've seen the other videos with Barry doing the track press. If you haven't, you gotta watch. It's really cool. He tears down a three or four chains or links or something. This here, we're just gonna take one link out. I'm not gonna bore you with the the details on uh, on that. I'm already boring you enough with this part. But uh, this is just something a lot of people don't know what short links are. Uh, it's it's something you can do to get a few more hours out of your chain and. Uh, 
in this situation, this customer, he's going to do that and uh, he's going to buy new chains here hopefully in the next three or four months. time but it's, I'm a little rusty so you gotta give me a little bit but uh, anyways at least you see me doing something Todd's not on that on that level he don't get out here and do this <laughs> top roller is turning very hard is something wrong with it, it seems like it's uh, bearing you hear it. it's something it's out around something bent something but we're we got top rollers put on that we've already done bottom rollers and I have this for this guy but he just kind of been patching it as we go uh, but anyways, I'm gonna find something to dry my hands off or he'll get grease on his phone for his camera. All right, man, Kyle, I got grease on my hands. I can't touch. Uh, I can't touch Todd's phone or get, he'll get mad. I'll get there. greasy. Yeah. Hey guys, Todd at TruckerTrack.com here. I'm feeling a little bit better. I wanted to slide outside. I know this is Steve's video. Uh, he's going to take care of all this and show you guys everything. I'm going to do a really quick walk around really quick and show you guys what they're doing. So Steve's on the forklift. That's right. Man with the plan. Jamel's got his sunglasses on, looking good. Uh, Johnny is, uh, I don't know what Johnny does, but he's doing whatever he does. And uh, we got the 850G. Steve's getting ready to yank this bad boy back. Let's see some action. Hey, Todd, touch it. Big gob of uh, grease right there. Can... We all know Todd don't get dirty. Todd don't get dirty. It's a lot of money right there. Make sure it's going on either. Had a little, little slide off there, folks. That's normal. Steve's going to pull forward with the forklift. Johnny actually has his pants pre-dirtied before he comes to work. Yeah. That way he looks dirty at work, if that makes sense. All right, so Mel's got the chain up here. Good finger getter right there. Yes, it is. You, uh, sometimes you can run the chain over the top of the uh, top roller. All right. Put it over top of that. There you go. We're getting there. Okay. Looking good, fellas. Looking good. good. All right, now we're back. We got the uh, track short link. We got it wrapped up here. We got the adjuster pulled back. We're gonna pull it all back here. Hopefully, we can get it together, and uh, and we got enough. Uh, room with the adjuster to pull back and we'll let you know here you can kind of watch with us.
putting together a new chain or a new split jaw. They say after you torque it, uh, this is, uh, they'll know the foot pounds. They've done five eighths for so long is what this size is. At 50 hours, you need to do it. Go check them again. A lot of you guys put a new track together. You go run it. The next time you come back, a little bit later, you're saying you got broken bolts. But if you're not checking your torque after 50 hours, uh, you know, through them, everything being new and settling in, sometimes stuff. But when you remember the torque, we'll go ahead and tighten them up and then we'll, uh, we'll, uh, yep. We'll get a torque wrench here in a minute and check it. But the main thing is the whole point of this whole video, we took a link out of it, pulled the track adjuster back. We was concerned whether we get the adjustment, uh, be able to pull it together or not. And this one did. So, so this customer will be able to run for a lot longer. Oh, so. we just got photo bomb. Yeah. Well, you can shut it off. Now, so we're good. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> there you go. Everybody's gone home. So it's after hours with Steve now, I guess you can call it. But, uh, anyways, uh, I'm gonna chalk my first video up as a half success, half not so much. But we still got the job done. The customer's happy. Uh, both tracks did get short length. I was hoping to show you guys a little bit more of some step by step stuff. And then uh, I got a lot of phone calls and was getting interrupted a lot during the, the other part. And uh, actually, my other guys got tired of waiting on me to come outside. So they, they finished it up. But, uh, but anyways, uh, uh, I still enjoyed kind of getting to know you guys and hopefully you get to know me a little bit. My name's Steve. Uh, I've been here 29 years. Uh, my dad started this business in 1987. Uh, so I've been around a lot of coal mines, a lot of big, uh, big coal mines with D11 dozers, D10 dozers, uh, Hitachi shovels, you know, all the way up to 5500s, EX 5500s, uh, 3600s. Uh, saw a lot of cool, cool things, you know, in my life and, uh, um, you know, but I enjoy just people and I enjoy helping people. And, uh, uh, so if you're out there and you're needing something, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm approachable. You can email me at steve at truckertrack.com. Uh, I'd be glad to answer any questions you got, especially on ground engaging or undercarriages or anything like that. Uh, but, uh. Anyways, this won't be my last video. I'll be doing some more. I might just start me a little Steve After Hours series and uh, uh, kind of make it where you can get to know me a little bit better. And, and uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully we'll have a good time with uh, with truckertrack.com and and, uh, and hopefully we can be a good vendor for you. But, so if, I don't know any sayings at the end of these videos, but uh, anyways, I appreciate you guys.